Imagine walking into a room and seeing an assortment of colors. Imagine walking into a classroom and seeing all of your friends, teachers, and classmates as wisps and bursts of color. Imagine walking up to a stranger and automatically thinking blue or orange or pink with a hint of purple. This is the life of synesthesia. Well, it's my life with synesthesia. Synesthesia is defined as a neurological phenomena in which stimulation of one sensory or cognitive pathway leads to automatic involuntary experiences in a second sensory or cognitive pathway. So what does this mean? In simple terms, it means when one sense is stimulated, another reacts in a way out of the norm. Our thalamus, which controls our input of senses, sends us secondary sensations, inputting them as tangible things. There's a few theories on how exactly synesthesia works. Psychologists know for a fact that it involves communication between the regions of the cerebral cortex that are not otherwise connected. How exactly they interact are under speculation. Some believe that it may be in the chromosome region on something called the TBR1 gene. The TBR1 gene is involved in the regulation of developmental processes. A disruption of this gene could lead to secondary sensations. A similar idea is that there are excess connections left from infancy. This is called neural pruning, the idea that connections that should have faded during infancy stayed intact. Likewise, there's the idea that the neural connections between the cortical regions are maintained in every person, but only some people fully experience it. For example, those who see any sense as a form of color retained excess neural connections with the semantic processing area during development. Psychologists and neurologists have been studying synesthesia as early as 1689, as seen by mentions of John Locke, who was a classical philosopher. In 1812, George Tobias Ludwig Sachs gave the first medical report of synesthesia. But it wasn't until the 1980s that research really started. As of right now, it is known that 5% of the population has synesthesia, around 350 million people. There are also 60 known types of synesthesia. Some of those include sound to color, personifications of numbers or letters, word to taste, known as lexical gustoratory, and touch to taste. The most common one is known as grapheme color synesthesia, where people see numbers or letters as very distinct colors. The type I have is personality color synesthesia, known by a lot as aura synesthesia. Mine also goes into the classification of associator synesthesia, where the colors are distinctly visualized in my mind. There is a classification where people see the colors in front of them as if experiencing a type of hallucination. What you've been seeing while I've been rambling on about the psychological side of synesthesia is how I view people. Every canvas that I've been painting represents someone, is someone in my mind. Every canvas are the colors or the wisps or the lines or whatever you may see is what I see when I look at someone, when I speak to someone. The most common question I get when I tell people about my synesthesia is what color am I? And I completely understand. I understand why people would want to know what they are. It's just natural human curiosity mixed with something cool that a lot of people probably haven't heard of before. The second most popular question I get is, what does that mean? Uh, but I don't really know what they mean. To me, they don't really mean anything because that's all I've ever seen. There are some people who say that if you see these certain colors that they mean things almost like auras but it's just such a normal daily occurrence for me that I've never thought to look into it. Many people who experience any type of synesthesia don't even realize that they have it. Since it's an automatic thing, many just assume that everyone around them experiences things the same way they do. But as far as psychological disorders go, being able to experience the world in a higher level of senses can definitely be seen as a plus.